Evil Dead the game is released on 3rd in May and Ash is ready to challenge his horror for rivals, especially Dead by Daylight. It's good to see Ash Williams with his trusty chainsaw of hand by this multiplayer survival action game. Due to Dead by Daylight success and popularity, it's quite common to see such horror movies present themselves as multiplayer survival horror gameplay, although Evil Dead differentiates itself through its concept and gameplay from others, and also with its solid crossplay function among all platforms. Developer team Saber Interactive has been known for World War Z in these last years and also worked by a couple of big publishers by some big IP project. As an Evil Dead fan, I was quite hyped to see Ash Williams once again, being an alternative to the multiplayer survival genre. As I mentioned previously, it's not a survival horror game, but a rather survival action game, as players enter the game with their chosen character, they are trying to banish the evil that appeared by the Book of the Dead Necronomicon. From the first Evil Dead movie to the Ash vs Evil Dead Netflix series, players can choose from 12 characters, 4 being different versions of Ash, 8 being the side characters that can be seen from the first movie to the last TV series. Characters are separated in 4 different groups, namely Leader, Warrior, Hunter and Support, each having different roles in a match different perks and skills that can either support the team or clear the way while the team of four tries to gather three pieces of maps to find Necronomicon as the first step. With each character having different abilities and each type having different skills and upgrade tree bring also differences between characters that I will be speaking soon about. The first piece of the map has been found. Continue and find the next. First of all, it's quite early to say whether it's worth your money or not, due to being a multiplayer game. And I do believe lots of people are having concerns if Evil Dead the game will turn out to be a long term project. Need to say, of course, Evil Dead has its flaws here and there, but if Saber Interactive continues to keep the game alive with more maps, more Calderian demons to encounter and more weapons, I dare say it has quite a potential. The unique aspect of Evil Dead the game is that you don't just try to survive but you cooperate with three other people to banish the evil and fight against hordes of skeletons, demons and deadites. As you find yourself in a map, players try to scavenge whatever they can find to survive this horrible night, rather it be a pickaxe, sword, blunderbuss while trying to gather all the maps to find Kandarian dagger and assemble the Necronomicon. Once all three maps are gathered, players then need to decide if they would find the Necronomicon or the Kandarian dagger as being the second major step of their journey. Both finding the Necronomicon and the dagger works as a defensive point kind of gameplay, as they try to stay within a radius to charge the item. After both items are ready, they head for the location of Dark Ones where they use the dagger to banish the evil and then perform the banishment ritual in order to successfully win the game. But it's quite easy to set than done, as the demon side is also controlled by another player. As for the demon side, we have three choices, Warlord, Puppeteer and Necromancer. Due to my experiences, I found Necromancer as the most interesting but Puppeteer itself as the strongest as its boss unit can wreck survivors in a flash if they're not fully leveled or equipped with items. Each demon has different perks, different abilities and units to summon, providing different gameplay aspects just like playing as a killer in Dead by Daylight. As I mentioned before, playing as Necromancer meaning as Evil Ash and summoning skeletons from Army of Darkness felt more interesting to me and playing as Evil Ash killing survivors with a sword felt more intense. 12 characters separated in 4 different types brings also tears among the characters. Some characters like Lord Arthur, Pablo and Ash vs Evil Dead Ash Williams can be unlocked through playing the single player mission mode that has 5 different levels at the moment, relieving the iconic scenes from both movies and from the TV series. The first mission where Ash tries to say farewell to his lovely girlfriend Linda is basically where you complete tasks while maintaining enough ammo and supplies due to these missions having no checkpoints. One mistake can ruin your progress and making you the challenge once again. As for the tier list, Lord Arthur as a leader character is one of the most broken, most OP characters of all, can easily shift the tides of the game. And after him comes Ash from Army of Darkness, Pablo and Cheryl Williams as support characters and then Kelly as a hunter can be defined as a DPS class. As Cheryl Williams having the best healing ability that can support the team and Lord Arthur as both tanky and more like a bruiser type, I can say that these two characters can improve your win rate by far. Although the Ash himself is the main character here, I felt like only Ash from Army of Darkness is a bit OP among the characters, as he can heal himself 
and lower his fear meter by using his own skill. And man, one of the most annoying gameplay mechanic of all probably is the fear meter. Each character has this fear meter that helps the demon side to possess that character. If a character is alone or within a dark area, fear meter increases rapidly. And only way to lower this is to light a fire or a lantern to stay within that radius. That is the sole aspect that makes the game a bit survival-like. Call me the one-shot wonder for nothing. As you find yourself mostly killing dead eyes, dismembering the demons with chainsaw, axes or blast your enemies head off, leaving the screen with blood. My advice would be here to use your ping F upgrades to improve your fear resistance as soon as possible. With these ping Fs that can be found within supply boxes scattered around the map, players can increase their character's melee and range damage, improve their health and fear resistance, lower their stamina consume ratio or add additional shield bar that can protect these characters from having harm. These shields can be found around the map through amulets and can be stacked up to 4 layers of shields. And if you were to unlock damage reduction during a shield perk within the skill tree, then you can as well as be the tank of the group and lead your companions to the next objective. And if, if a team member dies within a fight, they can be either healed if they are in bleeding status or their spirit can be taken to nearest altar to be resurrected once again. This gameplay aspect is quite interesting in my opinion as giving survivor team another chance to fight and also demon side more time to be stronger and prepare for the next fight due to survivors being quite vulnerable when they try to resurrect their team member. It's quite a gamble in my opinion especially during the late game. Sometimes that resurrected team member can lead you to your own death. Meaning sometimes you gotta make the hard decision of just concentrating on the objective to lure the demon player away from the group try to make an opening. I do think Evil Dead the game has quite potential here with game having a solid connection between different platforms and action survival approach to the series. I do enjoyed what Dead by Daylight brought to the table but to be frank I'm kinda sick of repairing engines while hiding away from the killer all the time. Multiplayer survival genre needs a different approach and Evil Dead the game brings it. But on the other hand I would like to see how Saber Interactive will improve both the contents and the gameplay aspects in the future. Right now Evil Dead provides a fun gameplay with Evil Dead characters that are matched with the movies and TV series. If Saber Interactive makes the correct approach and add new maps and contents, Evil Dead can be one of the best of this genre. In the location of the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. They are key to your success.